Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Brittany. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I also create YouTube videos here on YouTube about my reselling journey to help you along yours as well. And today I have a thrift haul, another thrift haul, my favorite. Today's is from a local thrift store that I think is potentially gonna be my honey hole. We'll see after I go another one or two more times, so I'm not gonna disclose the name of it. So I really encourage you to go and look, scour your local town and find your little mom and pop thrift stores or somewhere that is benefiting something in your community and go and take a peek, go and see what they have. I think you would be surprised at what they have versus like your local Goodwill. So anyways, with that, we are gonna go ahead and jump into what I found so you can just see what kind of stuff I pick up um, to resell online for profit, to make me money. It's a job. So I ended up getting 41 items and my total cost of goods was $130.98, including tax. So that ended up breaking down to $3.19 per item, which is phenomenal. And right on target for my goal, um, I've said in the past few videos when I've done thrift hauls or I've done my monthly overviews that I want my, my target cost of goods to be about that $3 mark, maybe three to $4 tops. And so I was really happy to find the low cost of goods that I did. And that of course is just averaged out from all of those items. So I have all of these clothing items, a few accessories, some pants and some more shirts off camera and some shoes off camera as well on the floor. Let me show you what we're working with here. Take a picture of the shoes and then we'll take some pictures of these other shirts. And you'll also get to see how it's kind of messy behind the camera too. So that's just real life, okay? Okay, jumping into it, we are gonna talk about my two accessories. So I just found the scarf. Um, I just picked it up based on style. Um, I don't even know who the brand is. Nix it, I don't think it's any known brand, but I just like the scarf. Um, I am a fan of scarves. It's hard for me to find ones that I like. This one, a one of my girlfriends gave it to me a, many, many years ago, and I love it. So I decided to get this. I might borrow it once or twice during December, but anyways, I just thought it was cute, so I picked it up. But when I do list it, I will probably list it anywhere from $15 to $20 and expect about 10 bucks on it. The next accessory I thought was so fun is this kind of like a uh, mustard yellow little purse. It's over the shoulder with some gold chains and it's by Steve Madden. Yeah, this thing is like basically brand new. Never been used. There's no marks, there's no stains, there's no really anything wrong with it. Steve Madden can be an okay brand. Um, it really just depends on what you're picking up and you know, if it's on trend or in style at all. But I thought this was super cute. Um, and it'll probably sell for about 30 bucks, I would say. And I'm not personally like a purse connoisseur. I just have one basic black, kind of like a backpack purse. It's like a traveling purse. So like all of your belongings that are important are the zipper is on your back. So it's like pink pocket or proof. So anyways, that's just what I use. Pretty sure I got it off of Amazon. So I'm not a personally very fashionable person. So that's just a little tidbit about me. And these next ones were fun. Um, these I found towards the end of my thrift trip and it was in the front of the store where um, where most, I think Goodwill's do this too, but they'll have like their boutique items. And always at Goodwill's, I'll, I'll find these, Miss Me Jeans but they price them at normal Goodwills at like 20 bucks. I was like, ooh, there wasn't a price on these. So I was like, how much are they? They said, oh, $5. And I was like, okay, I'll try them. Cause I haven't tried Miss Me's before um, because they've always been 20 bucks. And people are like, the Goodwill caught on. Like we're not gonna pick up Miss Me's anymore. So, but it is a bigger size, a 32, um, the Easy Skinny and it's embellished on the back. So I thought I would give them a go um, and see how they do for me. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that Miss Me's do sell for anywhere from 20 to $30 now. They're not as popping as they once were, but I'm excited to try them out for me. These next pair of pants, I didn't find that many pants. You guys know that I like to find like jeans and pants and outerwear. I did find good outerwear. If I find any jeans, they were all kind of stained and stuff, but I did find some American Eagle pants, kind of like gray denim is what they are. 
just some men's pants. They're relaxed straight. And I think they're what, 30 waist, 29 waist, something like that. Smaller size, but I do sell smaller sizes in men's pants all the time. So yeah, it's a 29 by 32. So just American Eagle, very bread and butter for me. But yeah, I usually pick up American Eagle if it's, I think these were like $2, so happily grab those. So those are the accessories in the pants, not very many of them. Um, and then, ooh, what should we do next? I'm gonna hop over into something fun. So I picked up a few little holiday things like ugly Christmas sweaters because tis the season for it, right? <laughs> this first one I um, actually wore to an ugly sweater thing recently. Don't worry, it was socially distanced, but I don't, I don't think the brand is anything worthwhile, but I'll show it to you anyway. It's called like Tiara International. It was a size large, but it fit me fine. But I would consider this an ugly Christmas sweater. I mean, it's cute, like somebody can still, I mean, it's cute depending on your personal taste, but I don't know, is it fully Christmas? There's blue in there. Is blue considered Christmassy? I considered it Christmassy. There's the green and the red, mock neck sweater. It's probably vintage with that tag, but anyways, I picked it up as an ugly Christmas sweater and hopefully it'll sell anywhere from about 15 to $20. All right, this next one is very ugly. <laughs> Very ugly Christmas vest, like some outerwear with some cute little pom-poms on it. My husband wore this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, it's from Breckenridge, size medium. It's a women's, but you know, it fit a men's large, extra large is what he is. Anyways, it's an ugly Christmas vest. Perfect for the holidays. Um, it'll probably sell for $15, $20 as well too, just because I picked it up at the right time. I'm gonna list it this week right in time for the few weeks before Christmas where people will be doing these kind of ugly sweater things. This is the last of the crazy Christmas stuff, but another ugly Christmas sweater. I mean, it's cute, you know, for, a, what are they, what do they call them? Grandma sweaters, but it's not a sweater, it's a vest. Um, but this is an extra large, I think it's from Walmart initially it fit like the other one so anyway so i'll probably get 15 20 bucks on this as well just because it's the right season for it for the ugly christmas sweater get up so these these are the only three that i found in the store i do have my eyes peeled for more ugly christmas sweaters because i they've sold for me in the past um and you know they're always a big hit so if you see any Pick them up, I mean, if they're only a few bucks because you can make 15, 20 bucks on them typically. The next two items were the only kids items that I picked up. Um, this was Wonder Nation, a size large faux fur um, little vest. Open front faux fur vest cardigan. I just thought it was stylish, picked it up on the fact that it's fall and winter and some mom would probably just love this for her little girl. So I picked that up, probably make about probably $15 on this cause it's the faux fur and it's just very stylish. I'll probably start it at about $20. And I, I always forget to say this. I mean, I do say it, but just to know to preface, if I say I expect to make whatever, 10 or $15 on something, I will usually price something anywhere from five to $10 higher just to leave um, some wiggle room for negotiations. And the second little kids piece was another girl's piece and it was a size small, Arizona Jean Company, just a faux fur line denim jacket. It's perfect for fall and winter. Um, so I just picked it up based on style. It was cute, good condition. I think they only wanted two bucks for it, so. I will happily pick up kids clothes. So this one will probably sell for hmm, maybe closer to $20 just because it's the right season for it. And it is good quality, nice and thick. And it's uh, very well insulated with this faux fur. All right, next up, we are gonna get into the men's tops, which is what I predominantly found at this thrift store, which I was excited about because my men's bins of inventory was running low. So happy to have found plenty of men's stuff. So this is uh, REI which is just an outdoor brand company. It always sells pretty well for me. Size medium, just a just a button front short sleeve shirt. Um, it's like a, it's kind of like a blue gray striped pattern, but this will probably get about 15, 20 bucks on it as well, just cause it's REI. And this next one is something that I think my husband might want to keep or borrow for a little bit. Um, but it's Prana, which is another outdoor company that sells for pretty good money. This, I mean, I just was gonna pick it up regardless because I really liked the color and the pattern. 
it stood out to me it's like a rainbow I just thought it was cool so I would have picked it up based on style regardless of the brand but the brand makes it even better so this would probably sell for closer to 25 to 30 dollars but Prana is just another outdoor brand but they also make kind of casual business casual clothing so so I just thought this was uh pretty unique happy to find happy to see Prana in there I really did not think I'd see Prana in that little thrift store the next piece was from Hagar I think it's what you call it it's like a um a business wear formal wear men's clothing company my husband's gotten suits from them before but this is just a blue button front undershirt I think it was an extra large yeah which is always good they're not immediate sellers for me, but they do eventually sell. So this will probably sell for about 15 to 20 bucks. It's not for a ton of money, but it is a good quality undershirt that, you know, somebody might be looking for this specific blue. Picked it up, good condition. I think all the men's shirts were $2, so that's why I picked them up. Next is the outerwear up on the rack, but I do have more men's shirts on my chair over here. So I'm gonna go through them real quick. This first one was an Adidas Free Lift size medium men's graphic it's not a graph well it kind of is a graphic tee the graphic is just on the sleeve but it is just a athletic shirt for men adidas and nike always sell well for me not for a ton of money but this will probably sell for anywhere from 12 to 18 dollars it really just depends on the platform that it sells on um but just a nice basic gray athletic shirt i love basics and i love bread and butter so and that's what i can find in my location you know if you can find better stuff pick up better stuff, but um, I am not shy to pick up bread and butter. The next is just a Levi's black and white plaid short sleeve button up shirt. This will probably sell for about 15 bucks. Eh, 10 to 15 is Levi's. Um, and pretty basic, just a standard black and white. So not expecting a whole lot from it, but it was in good condition. This next one looks vintage, but it's not vintage. I don't believe, no, it's not. Um, but it's just a Mickey Mouse graphic tee. I thought it was so cute. Um, I mean, it's for a man. I guess a woman could wear it too. But it is obviously by Disney um, and it's a size large. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was fun. People love Disney. Mickey Mouse is a classic. Um, and it was in good condition from what I saw. You know, you can never be too sure until you get under these bright lights. So just do your best, check the seams. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. I can't say no to Mickey Mouse. So that was about $2 and this will probably sell for, mm, it is a heavy duty cotton, probably 15 to $20. This next piece was new with tags, which is why I got it. Normally I wouldn't pick up this brand, but because it was new with tags, I decided to give it a go. And it's green, somebody might pick it up for Christmas. But it is US Polo Assassin. It's an extra large. Originally 42 bucks, but they wanted $5 for it, which I thought was okay since I had a lot of other lower cost items. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It looked in good condition, but just a plain green polo um, in a size extra large. So the larger sizes do better for me. I think it's a big and tall extra large, but it doesn't specify that. But it seems a bit long. But granted, everything seems long to me because I'm very short. This was a men's size small London fog. Usually their um, jackets and outerwear do better or like trench coats, but this was, the structure of the shirt felt nice. The collar felt nice and stiff um, and it's a basic. So I just went ahead and picked it up. I probably shouldn't have just cause it's, I haven't sold any of their shirts before, but Guess I'll try it. London Fog, this will probably what do what, like $15? It'll sell for like 15 bucks, I would say. Oh, and then the US Polo Assassin will probably sell for like 15 to 20 bucks as well. And hopefully it'll sell quick just because it is new with tags and it's the right season for new with tags. This next shirt I just got because I thought it was funny <laughs> and I feel like somebody else would have humor like this, but the brand is nothing, anything. It's just a, the brand of like t-shirts itself is Gildan. Um, but it's a graphic tee and it says, I'm in shape, round is the shape. So I just thought that was funny. I could totally see like a dad buying that or like a wife buying it for her husband or you know, a son or daughter buying it for their dad for Christmas or something. I don't know, I just thought it was funny. So I'm in shape, round is a shape, which is true. So I just thought it was funny. It'll probably sell for like 10, 10 bucks. I would say 15 bucks max. I don't know if I get a chuckle at something in the store, I know somebody else will probably have a chuckle. So that is why I buy that. 
Um, all right, and the last of the men's shirts was another athletic basic. This was an Under Armour size small, and it is just a basic, kind of like a running long sleeve. Has some mesh to it up here on the shoulders, so breathability is there. In good condition, it'll probably sell for about 15 bucks. All right, men's tops are out of the way. Now we'll go into men's outerwear. This I got because it looked vintage to me. Um, it might not be vintage vintage. Ah, it might. It looks like it looks like late 90s or early 2000s. But it's by Polo. Polo by Ralph Lauren. Which typically sells quicker for me if it has like the Polo up there by Ralph Lauren. But it is a red. So good for the season because of the holidays. But just a long sleeve full zip. Kind of, kind of looks like a varsity jacket bomber jacket a little bit because the um, the cuffs are cinched and so is the bottom it has an elastic waist and you can pop your collar yeah I just thought it was cool I feel like somebody might somebody might want it so that's why I picked it up they wanted five bucks for it and I said sure that sounds like a fair deal and it was in good condition which I was surprised by unless I missed something I don't think I did so yeah I just thought it was cool next I just liked based on style Abercrombie and Fitch is the brand and it is like a puffer bomber jacket. Kind of hard to see because it's black, but it has the bright reflective orange lining. So I thought it was cool. Um, it is a men's size small, but you know, men's stuff can be unisex too. So like a women's medium or large could wear this as well. That was really cool. So this will probably go for about 25 bucks as well, just based on the style. All right, this next piece is super duper heavy. It is a men's, I believe, size large, I think it's a men's, like a brown leather suede. It's hard to see. It's by J. Crew. Let's see, there you go. J. Crew, 100% leather, really good condition. Let's see if you can see. It's hard to tell with the lighting and the contrast. Oh, my shoulder's burning. <laughs> Uh, it has pockets and then it is button front. I don't have them buttoned all the way. Um, really nice piece, very good quality, and it's like quilted lined. See if I can open it. And it is quilted lined. They wanted 15 bucks for it at the thrift store, um, which I thought was a fair price. Based on my comps, I think it'll go anywhere from about 50 to 60 bucks is what I would expect to make on it. So I'll start at probably about 75 or 80. But it is just a good quality, sturdy piece and I really liked it, so I picked it up. All right, this next piece is a size medium. I don't know if it's a men's medium or a women's medium. It might be a men's, but it is just a, kind of like a windbreaker when you're playing golf. It is by Ben Hogan. It's for golf performance. But I love the neon color, and yeah, just like a solid bright blue pullover for when you're out playing golf when it's cold outside. So this will probably sell for about 20 bucks, I would say. This next piece, I've never heard of the brand before, um, but I liked it because it was a denim button-up vest. Um, the brand is called Jean Tax. I've never heard of the brand before. Based on just the quality of the denim, I just went ahead and picked it up based on style. It has like these cool zipper pockets and then it is just a button front denim vest. Really liked it, it'll probably sell for about 20 bucks. Next piece is a puffer vest by Free Country. This brand will sell, not for a whole lot of money. It's not like a Patagonia or an REI or something like that. But it is just a nice puffer vest. I think it has a down in it, which is why I picked it up. Yeah, so it's 50% down, 50% waterfowl feathers, um, which is why I picked it up because I'm gonna use that material content in my title, um, which helps with the SEO of the item to get it seen quicker. So um, since it's not a very big name brand, it'll probably only sell for about 25 bucks because it is a larger size, extra, extra large, but perfect for the upcoming winter season. Next up, I picked up based on style. I'm trying to pick up a few things that are just kind of unique. This was like a black denim vest with some floral embroidery on the sleeve, which I thought was a nice little pop of color. There's a cat hair on it. But yeah, I just thought that was cool. Um, it kind of gives me Western vibes, I guess, but also it looked very vintage to me. But yeah, 
yeah, I just thought that was fun. Like a plain black denim jacket, button up jacket, but with a nice pop of color. The brand is Susan Bristol and it's a women's size medium. And I just expect this to sell for about 20 to $25 just based on the style. Last up for the clothing is like women's shirts and dresses. And this is a cropped Star Wars um, hoodie pullover. There's the hood. Um, it is a size, let's see, a size large and it's just Star Wars. Anything Star Wars I always pick up because it usually sells. So is it cropped? I don't know if that's cropped. I actually don't think that's cropped. It looks cropped from far away. Well, maybe it's just a women's, <laughs> maybe it's just a women's hoodie, just a nice pullover hoodie. So, so this will probably sell for about $20 if I were to guess, mm, maybe 18, 18 to 22 on the Star Wars. Next up I just got because I like that it was a simple graphic and somebody from Arkansas would probably like it. It is just a graphic tee of the state of Arkansas. The brand is Mad Engine. It's a size small. Nothing spectacular, but just a nice graphic tee. It'll probably sell for about, probably about 10 to $12. Right about that mark is what I would expect. Next is a J. Crew size extra small. Just a kind of like a blue chambray button up shirt. It is a basic, but doesn't go all the way down. So it's kind of like a peasant style button up shirt so it'll probably sell for about 15 to 20 dollars and the last two items are dresses which i was happy to pick up for dress simber so all of the dresses neckties and kids clothes that i sell in december um 25 percent of all of my profits will be donated to my dress simber team thrifters against trafficking me and chelsea are hosting it so um if you guys are interested in buying a dress a tie or kids clothes you can donate inadvertently through me in the month of december by purchasing from me or you can just watch those videos and watch the ads and then all that ad revenue will be donated as well um but i got two dresses this is an ann taylor size eight um, and it is just a kind of like a basic blue sleeveless tank top dress. It's about knee length. This will probably sell for about, I would say about 15 and $20 on that one. And then this last one I picked up. I love the color scheme of it. I do not know the brand. So I just bought it based on style. The brand is JH size large, but it's this mustard yellow with a cream and black striped it is about a half sleeve sweater dress and it is knee length. This one will probably sell for about $20 as well. And that is it for the clothing items. Now we just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pairs of shoes and then we will be done. Okay, first up with shoes, I just have some Naturalizer Mary Janes. Naturalizer will sell for me. They're not the cutest shoes, but people do enjoy them. Naturalizer. So they won't sell for a ton of money, but they'll probably go for about 15 to $20 just because they are basic, but they are some good comfort shoes that a lot of people like. Um, what size were they? These were a six and a half. Next up, I got these based on the fact that they were comfort shoes and um, they were just a cute little style. Some slip-on mules. These are some women's size 10 um, and they're kind of just like a blue denim color. Bought them based on style. They originally wanted three bucks for them, but they were half off, which is why I got them $1.50. Can't complain there. And these will probably sell for about 15 to $20 as well. These next ones were interesting looking, but after doing some comps, I need to clean them up a little bit but they are very vintage style. I think they're from Mod Cloth. They are these kind of like emerald green and floral Mary Jane heel pumps with a very interesting heel on them. Um, they're by the brand Ruby Shoe. And yeah, they sold for about $80 brand new. And then some used comps on some similar styled shoes were about $40 to $50. So I was very excited to see those because as I said earlier, I am very used to buying bread and butter type of items. And I usually don't find super unique items like this, but although it's not my style, I know it's somebody's style. So I just thought they were really cute, pretty good condition. There is some um, cat hair on them, so I just need to lint roll them and they'll be good to go. This next pair of shoes I got based on just style and just because of the season that we're in, they were just some kind of plain black combat boots, but with a cool red stripe on the back. Um, well, it's like red and navy blue on the back 
but I just thought they were pretty cool. The brand is, let's see, the brand is Bamboo and it's all, it's all like faux leather. So it's just based on style, but these will probably still sell for about 15 to 20 bucks. Next I got based on the fact that we're in fall and winter. They're just some brown chunky heel, about mid calf boots for women. Um, there is a little bit of scuffing on the toes right there, but I would expect to get about 15 to 20 bucks for them. They're size eight, which is a good common size. They got some fun, some country kind of style buckles and the brand is called Diba. Um, they originally wanted five bucks for these, but they were half off, so 250. I said sure, just cause it was the right season for them. Next were new tags, some mucklucks, sport shoes. They wanted five bucks for them, but they were half off. Um, these are just like a cool blue sparkly, I would assume they're like water shoes. Yeah, well, that's what they look like if they were a brighter color. Just some like water shoes. Oh, there's not a back strap to them though. Just some slip on kind of water shoes in a blue sparkly color. New a tag, so that's why I picked them up for 250. Can't really go wrong with that. These will probably go for about 15 to 20 bucks as well. Next were some men's kind of boho espadrille slip on shoes. They are a size 10. They are espadrilles and they might not sell right now, but probably about spring and summertime. They're very um, bohemian, Californian <laughs> is the kind of vibe that I get from them. The bottoms looked okay. I mean, there's a, a mark right there, but there is a lot of, there's still some tread to them. So I picked them up. They were originally five bucks, um, but they were half off. So I got them for 250. Clean them up a little bit. They'll probably go for about 15, 20 bucks. I feel like that's my go-to with everything. <laughs> These next ones are just some Nike F5 Light Run tennis shoes. They are a bit dirty. I do need to spend about 10 minutes cleaning these up, um, but they are a men's size 14, bigger size, um, but just some Nike sneakers, some running shoes for half off as well. So I think they were what, two or two, two or $2.50. So that is why I grabbed those. And then we have two more items. These were, I think are my, I think these and then my J Crew and maybe my Prana were all the best items from this thrift adventure. Ooh, which ones do I want to do next? We'll go with these. I found these. They only wanted five dollars for them, which I can't believe because they're steel toe. They're heavy duty. Some Harley Davidson motorcycle boots. These are a men's size 14. They are a bit worn, however. Um, I think most people would be okay with it. There is a little bit of leather coming up right there and then just around the edges from wear, but they still have a lot of life left. That's how you know it's real Harley Davidson. You got the big bright orange right on them. So the leather is peeling a little bit on the inside, so I will have to account for that, but the comps looked pretty good. They would still probably sell for about 50 to 60 bucks in this condition, and they only wanted five bucks for them, and they were on sale for 250. So pick those up. And the last item from this thrift haul were these Floor Sheem Shoes. I heard about this brand from Brian Ronning. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you totally should. He finds some of the best like men's clothing, dress clothing, dress shoes. Just from the design here on the toes, I knew to pick them up and they were in pretty good condition. They really don't need a whole lot of work done to them, but I heard about the brand. I put it on my little bolo list for men's clothing and shoes and then I found them. These are just like a brown laser cut wing tip. I don't know if it's wing tip if it doesn't wing out, um, but I know it's like a laser cut design, but very nice. Love the style of these, really cool to find them. I think they only originally wanted three bucks for them, so they were only $1.50. So I was really excited to see these, did not expect to find um, a pretty good brand like that. So if you do see this brand, I know the floor sheen, sheen, shine, the floor shine, we'll say floor shine. Um, the imperial ones I think are the Macadaddy of all floor shines. Um, but this is my first time finding them. This style, based on my quick quick comps in the very patchy Wi-Fi of the store. Well, not Wi-Fi, it was just connection. The very patchy connection in the store. Um, it looked to be about a 50 to $60 um, selling price on these. So it will probably start in about 75 or 80. Um, I will do some last minute comps before I do list them. Um, but yeah, men's size nine, really nice pair of shoes. Happy to find them. So, so based on my expected profit for 
all of these items I'm looking to make anywhere from about 700 to 800 dollars on the expected sale price and then after assuming everything was sold on Poshmark because it is the highest selling platform fee of 20% I would then be left with about 560 dollars minus my initial 130 I would expect to make about 430 dollars from this thrift trip if not a little bit more so I would just say anywhere from about four to five hundred dollars and I was in there for about an hour and a half so I am very happy with that I got some good items um, hopefully a few grand slams for like a fifty dollar plus net profit um, but yeah that's some of the best things that I can find in my area you know just because you don't live in a big city or a high-end area doesn't mean that you can't find good stuff and still make pretty good money but that is it for this thrift haul guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy seeing what I find at my local thrift thrift stores make sure to hit the like button on your way out because it really does support my channel and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I am putting out new videos on reselling on thrifting on business on YouTube about three times a week so you definitely don't want to miss out on that so make sure you click the little bell notification so YouTube will remind you when I do end up posting my videos so that is it you guys thank you so much and I will catch you in my next one bye